Well, the government shutdown could mean everything from furloughed federal employees to garbage piling up at national parks. CGTN's Timothy Ulrich explains how it happens. No paycheck, no peace. No paycheck, no peace. Do your job. It sparked anger and forced hundreds of thousands of employees to go without paychecks. Government appropriations play a big role in U.S. politics, and it comes up almost every year. For some, it's a game lawmakers play and Americans pay the cost. This lockout is yet another manufactured crisis cooked up by politicians looking to score political points and American workers are fed up. We're tired of being pawns. We're tired of always being the ones who get hurt and we are not going to take it. The last one, and the longest in U.S. history, started in 2018. Then President Donald Trump was holding out. He wanted that year's budget to set aside almost $6 billion for his border wall with Mexico. It lasted over a month and meant almost 400,000 federal employees had to go without pay. And trash piled up in national parks across the country. Trump eventually relented on his demands, but it was devastating for many families. You know, yeah, we used to be able to afford a, a babysitter so that I can work, so that I'm not trying to work and watch my kids. Or maybe, you know, not just put my kids in front of a TV. And we had to let her go. There's just, there's just no way we could afford it right now. The reason it happens is due to an interpretation of a 19th century law. It requires federal agencies to have funding appropriated by Congress. If they don't, they can't spend money. With the U.S. relying heavily on borrowing money for spending, it shifted the argument. Lawmakers now have to decide every year on increasing the amount the government can borrow. It's called the debt ceiling. The U.S. debt clock tracks how much is owed. It says America is in the hole for almost $29 trillion as of October. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says it's time to scrap the limit. It'll be on the table next time lawmakers debate funding in December, when the issue arises again to keep the lights on. Timothy Ulrich, CGTN.